digital health and rheumatology actually really is more about a mindset transformation and it's all about patient empowerment. And perhaps, you know, just to give a brief overview, what is digital health? Simply said, digital health is basically the use of technology for delivery of health services. And this is not just limited to, you know, conventional clinical consults by doctors alone, but nowadays digital health also encompasses things like, you know, physical exercise, patient education, or even patient support online. And so, you know, the most commonly or the most well-known platform of digital health is really that of the domain of telehealth. Um, I think during COVID, especially this really, really took, uh, you know, uh, took flight and it has really been quite widely adopted. Uh, it is going to stay. I think the Ministry of Health in Singapore has actually pushed for telehealth to be one of the um, standard of care delivery modes. Um, just to partially, uh, I guess, uh, control overcrowding in the hospitals or in any of the healthcare institutions, clinics. Um, and, you know, it is to a certain extent a good way to overcome um, inequities caused by mobility issues, difficulties going to the doctor because, you know, of work commitments. A lot of times, you know, patients do ask, can we come on Saturdays and, um, you know, I think uh, the doctors here would agree that, you know, sometimes you will sheepishly look at them and then you say, like, really sorry, but we are we don't run clinics on Saturdays. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, OK, that may be slightly different with the people in private, but, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll go, uh, get there in a bit. OK, and so, you know, um, the, the the interesting thing about you know te telehealth is is that you know nowadays we are talking about like Zoom phone consults, but the people in Japan have actually gone one step further and they said uh, like well everybody loves virtual reality, everybody loves augmented reality, think Pokemon Go, and so um, in Japan they are actually starting to do research on doing mixed reality um, consults, um, which you know uh, it's still going to be more between doctor to doctor consults instead of patient to doctor consults. Uh, they have started doing it in some of the hospitals in Nagoya for surgery. Um, I think uh, it's still in the pilot stages, but I think that's quite interesting because now, you know, surgeons can um, give their counterparts who are remote a view of what it is that they're actually seeing. Um, and with the advent of robotic surgery as well, uh, one would potentially be able to do robotic surgery remotely. And that too is very exciting. 